20th annual Andy Manathon Live in DC 1025 Big Room with the Watershed and the website watersheds, uh, watershedcentral.com inform me of a really cool holiday special about a really, really great book. Uh, $3.99 on Kindle for the month of December for Hitless Wonder. Yeah, I don't know if you guys knew that, but uh, Hitless Wonder, if you got one of those fancy Kindles or Nooks, I didn't even know this today, but I mean, it's a great book. If you haven't read it, you have to read it. It's a great book. Um, anyone would like it. If you're from Columbus, you will love it. But uh, they made it their featured book, and it's like in the top five music books right now. Like It's like Pete Townsend, Joe A. Strike. Yeah! yeah. Woo. It's yeah. It is. It's, a, it's, a, it's really well received, and it's really, it's really a good read. So. And, uh, there, there's a, a few parts in that book about the station and about mm -hmm. Andy Man. Yeah, there's a bunch of stuff, obviously, in here. And how could there not be? But I'll read a passage of just about... There's a lot of mentions, and some of it's like boozing and stuff, but here's a little something quick out of the book. To give you a taste and Andy being in here. As we head north, Biggie's got the dial tuned to CD 101, one of America's last great independent stations. Because CD 101 isn't owned by a huge corporation, the program director, Andy, Andy Man Davis, has the freedom to play what's good, not simply what's been spoon-fed to him by record promoters and programming consultants. This man's got bills to pay, of course, so he'll spend the usual alternative rock fair, U2, the White Stripes, Green Day, and so on. But now, as if programming the station specific for us, Andy Man follows The Clash's brand new Cadillac with Dancing with Mr. D by the Stones. In this era of Clear Channel, CD 101 is a throwback to the days when the DJ actually had some room to do a little jockeying. Andy Man also plays Watershed, a lot, in regular rotation, alongside the Hives and the Strokes and everybody else. Ten days ago, on New Year's Day, the station counted down their two top thousand songs of all time, and eight Watershed tracks made the cut. Obvious elite single from our most recent album, which clocked in at 160, a ridiculous 13 slots better than Should I Stay or Should I Go. Even I think that's way too high for Watershed. Anyway, there's a little taste to that. So. There's a lot more in there than some treehouse stuff. And all kinds of stuff. It really is uh, an amazing read, and like you said, it's, it's charting very high on all the, uh, the rock books in there. And uh, Congratulations, that's, uh, that's a big accomplishment. Joe, you want to say something? You're the one who did all the work. I let the book do the talking. <laughs> <laughs> the book and you. Well, that was a uh, a great portion of that. Thank you for sharing that. No problem, here, man. That was uh, that's phenomenal. At least we do. Like I said, we're obviously here for Andy. We'd be here anyway, but obviously for Andy's on our thoughts this time of, of year. Course. So we're thrilled to be here. Yeah. Well, yeah. we uh, we need to get these votes ready. Six one four two two one. 1025. Still a couple volunteers up here. I'd rather they be downstairs taking donations. Uh, you've got another song for us tonight? Yeah, we're doing something a little different. I don't think we've done this one too many times. It's the last song on Brick and Mortar. It's the last song we, we're doing the record. Joe Peppercorn said, hey, I got a song here, and uh, we laid it down, and we're going to play it for you now. And, uh, it's called uh, Broken Radio. Thank you. 